Is the swine flu outbreak affecting your travel plan? Not at all. I, I didn't have any travel plans to begin with, but uh, I do travel a lot internationally, um, and I don't think I would pay any attention to it. I would limit my travel if I, if I were in the mood to travel. No, we're not going to the areas that are affected. Okay, so we're, we're on a road trip, and we won't be affected. No, not at all, not at all. Um, I have uh, insurance for vacation, and I, I have no plans to go to Mexico right now, though. What precautions do you take to keep from being exposed to infectious diseases? Um, so far, I haven't really changed any of my normal routines. Um, I've heard about it, but I haven't really done anything differently. Well, when I travel, I take malaria medication and use bug spray. I work for the World Bank, so it's um, common that we do that. Uh, just wash my hands and make sure that whatever I'm eating is clean and that I'm being careful, I guess. Uh, don't kiss people too much. <laughs> Friends, uh, don't share drinks too much. Uh, uh, I haven't done the, uh, the, uh, face the face mask yet. <laughs> Should the rapid development of a swine flu vaccine be a national priority? I, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think that you really shift priorities when something comes up. I think that you work on what you've been working on and, and take care of things in its due course. It's an H1N1 virus. So it seems like it's, it's there, it's a threat, and I think that, it, that a flu vaccine should, in fact, be, yes, be developed and quickly. I think vaccines for any illness should be a national priority. Yes. Medical people are, are monitoring it by the hour, but you know, to go beyond that right now, uh, to me, is an overkill. Uh, what, what, I don't know what else they could do. You know, they make everybody stay in their house. It's impossible.